Alright, so I know this has been out for a while, and also, since we're on the whole subject of Marvel, yes, I know I have not yet revealed the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Uh, season finale. Reason being, oh wow, I don't know if the mic's going to pick that up, but yeah, well, there's a bit of a storm going on where I am, but yeah. Like I was saying, um, I haven't had time to review the last uh, few episodes of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., obviously with all the shit I'm dealing with my, in my own life, and you got to understand that the season, I think I'm just going to, at this point, I think when I get to it, I'll just review the season finale, the two part, you know, the two hour season finale, but you gotta understand, I've got a lot of shit in my life I'm going through right now, and plus, uh, it's a two hour finale, I really gotta dedicate some time for that, I really gotta dedicate some time to that, so, but don't worry, I will be doing the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. review, hopefully soon, can't really give you a date on that, though. Anyway, let's move on now to uh, New Mutants. Yeah, uh, recently Fox has announced that they are doing a New Mutants film. Now, first off, I really like this idea because, again, we're branching out further into X-Men stuff, but, we, but they also announced an X-Force movie, but nothing really came of that. But this time around, I'm actually a lot more open-minded to this New Mutants movie coming out because, one, it already has a director, Josh Brune. Uh, Josh Brune, I think that's the last uh, how you pronounce his last name. And two, we're already getting three X Men movies in one year. That uh, only X Men Apocalypse, and then you know Deadpool and Gambit next year. So we got three X Men centered films. So it's rather than with the X Force rumors, I was like, oh yeah, X Force coming out. That hasn't for come to fruition. However, there's still chance that an X Force movie could still come out. So you know, there's hope for that. So what do I think of a New Mutants film? on a whole. First off, I think it's really cool that we can, you know, finally, hopefully with the New Mutants, we can actually do a movie with young X-Men characters. I mean, yeah, we're getting that in... I mean, yeah, we've been getting that to an extent in the past three X-Men films, from First Class all the way now to Apocalypse, but this is going to be like a teenage group of X-Men. That's what I really want. Not like them being young adults. I want them to be teenagers like they were in the, uh, uh, in the original comics by, uh, Chris Claremont. Oh my god, I can't believe I spaced on the name. So yeah, um, I would really like to see that. I think one the one story you could really uh, play with in the New Mutants is the story arc where the character Warlock, who, as my good friend Coolio Vids uh, once described him as, the mask is an alien, he was that techno-organic alien, have him come down to Earth, and the New Mutants are trying to protect Warlock from his father, the Magus. Uh which is this omnipotent alien race god thing. And, yeah, I think that could be the story right there. Just have the Magus as the antagonist, and this would be the first time you could really do some alien stuff. Uh, yeah, you could really do some fun uh, alien kind of uh, extraterrestrial kind of shit, and I think that would be a lot of fun. Finally introduce that, and hopefully, maybe this would be a way to introduce the Shi'ar, you know, the Brood, the Imperial Guard, the Phalanx, you know, alien race like that, like this could, you know, using the warlock story could be a cool way to introduce, um, you know, the extraterrestrial element. Now, the other thing I gotta mention is that the past two movies that the, the direct, this director they've announced has done has both been romantic movies, and not really, he, action movies aren't really his forte, but... One, you know, there has been a lot of drama and action, you know, there's been a lot of drama and romantic stuff in New Mutants, so I think he's good on that element, and I'm pretty sure the writers are going to introduce a lot of action as well. So I'm being very uh, open-minded with a director, uh, who, I forgot to mention that he's the director of The Fault in Our Stars, so hopefully we can get some badass writers in there. I'm not doubting the director, it's always not, hopefully we can see, like, him come out of his shell and do, like, some cool action stuff. But yeah, I would not be surprised if we saw some romantic elements in there. But we're not saying that's bad, mind you, not saying that's bad. Just saying I don't want the whole movie to be, you know, a, rom a rom-com uh, movie. So who do I want on this uh, team? Who do I want on this roster of New Mutants? Obviously Sam Gunther, Cannonball. You know, obviously gotta have Cannonball. Sunspot. We technically had Sunspot already, but that was in the future. This would be him as a kid. So, you can have Sunspot in here. Uh, obviously, you've got to have Karma. You know, Car she's a vital member. Wolfsbane's another vital member you have to have on this team. I think she's another uh, important member. Uh, Danny Moonstar, absolutely. You need to have Danny Moonstar on this team as well, as well as Cypher, uh, the, uh, the character that uh, Warlock bonds with. And his mutant ability is that he can talk to, you know, he can decipher any language 
uh, was just by looking at it and speak any language, and Cypher and him form a bond, a uh, symbiotic bond. So if you're gonna... The way I would see is, yeah, he would be an important member because obviously he's the one who communicates with Cypher and helps them, you know, get to understand him more. But yeah, uh, there's a bunch of other ways this uh, this movie could go, you know. It could, you know, I'm just saying the Cypher story arc because obviously that one that's a very that's a big moment in uh, New Mutants because that and also this could be a cool way to introduce aliens. But they could easily go a route with using Mister Sinister. I personally want him in an X Men movie, but hell, they could use him in here. Uh, you know, there's so many routes you could use New Mutants. I'm just going with that one, because you could that would be a cool way to introduce one character and also show that mutants aren't the only thing in this universe. And I'm pretty sure uh, Fox at this point would be like, hey, Marvel's making a lot of money off of cosmic stuff, so let's introduce the cosmic stuff we have rights to. Hell, I would not be surprised if they tried making an Imperial Guard movie. <coughs> yeah, I would not be surprised that sometime soon, you know, Fox would announce they're doing an Imperial Guard movie, so, yeah. Or introduce the brood in some movie. Anyway, uh, but yeah, I mean, there are so many routes to go. I mean, you could even do the Demon Bear story arc. That's a, a very important character. That's not only a great character arc for Danny Moonstar, but also another big story arc for the New Mutants. So you could easily go the the, uh, the Demon Bear route, but I sincerely doubt they'll go a supernatural route with the new with anything X Men. So that's why I'm kind of putting more stock in the alien idea. But then again, they could go any other way with this, truthfully. So, yeah, I'm very optimistic about this. It's nice to see that they're finally, you know, showing some light on not just, you know, Wolverine, Cyclops, and all the others. It's nice to see that the other X-Men are going to be, you know, showcased, hopefully showcased. I'm hoping they'll use at least some of the New Mutants lineup. Hell, for all we know, they could use mutants for this team that are, you know, not even close to being on the New Mutants roster. They could just use Cannonball and ten other characters like they did in X-Men uh, First Class that weren't even on the X-Men team at first. They could easily do that now that I think about it, but I am very hopeful for this film. So you guys tell me, what do you guys think of this New Mutants film? Do you guys like the idea? Do you guys hate the idea? What do you want the story to be about? And furthermore, who do you want to see on the roster, and what do you think of the director? Anyway, once again, hope you all enjoyed this, and I'm out.